So if you've been following along with this trip, you might be thinking, did I just wear the same outfit for the whole 10 days? Well, pretty much. So as it's my last night, I thought I'll use this opportunity while I'm repacking to talk through everything that I brought on this trip. So I'm going to start with clothes. So pretty much, as you'll have seen from the videos, I wore a pair of shorts and two different tops. One top I've got on now and the other one is out drying at the moment. Uh, I pretty much alternated between the two tops and these shorts, cheap as chips, I got them in Primark for about a fiver and they're made out of recycled plastic, which I really like. So um, yeah, I pretty much mostly wore the same top each day. I probably could have done with just one because I just wash it when I come in. Um, and then when I wasn't hiking, I just have this really lightweight dress, which I just got online. So I pretty much just wore that in the evenings um, or what I'm wearing now, which is one of my hiking tops and just a pair of lightweight leggings. And I also brought these, which I really didn't need in the end, which was, although they were really useful for the flight, so I probably didn't need them, but it's just a pair of black leggings from Decathlon. Uh, and then for warm stuff, I have this fleece and this merino base layer and then my puffy coat and that's pretty much it for clothes like yeah i really really didn't need any more than that and um, pretty much every day i just wore bikinis so i brought two bikinis and i just alternated between them and uh i think i brought three pairs of underwear one bra and hiking socks I brought two pairs of hiking socks, the other pair is out drying, but basically what I would do <clears throat> is I would just wash them when I come in, uh, so I always had a spare set, um, so I probably could have done with just one pair, but it's always good to have a spare pair. And I also brought an ultralight uh, microfiber towel. Uh, actually, I have a smaller one that I usually would bring, but because I knew that I was going to be swimming a lot in the sea, uh, this was handy to get change behind, so it's a bit bigger, but super useful. Use that every day. And of course, if you've seen any of my photos, the bandana, which has been so useful because it's been super windy on the cliffs. So having this just to hold my hair back, and I always kept my hair down to stop my neck getting sunburned. So I would wear this a lot because I also had the hat, but when it was really, really windy on the cliffs, this would blow off so yeah but I alternated between them because this is good for keeping the sun out of your face when it's not so so windy but um I really like both these so super useful um I also brought this it's a little fold away backpack that I got into Cathlon for about two pound absolutely essential so useful super light uh and I would just take this out in the evenings um so that was handy and for my water, I use this like platypus thing just from Decathlon. It holds two liters. And because I'm never sure if we're drinking water um, in other countries, so I also brought my Sawyer uh, water system. So basically what you do is you fill this little bag up uh, from the tap and then you put this on and then you squeeze it into that. So pretty much did that every day apart from when the days that I was so exhausted like I just was too tired to do it then I would buy water but most of the time this did the job and it was super handy and I like having this in the bag as well because you don't have to take your bag off to get water out super super handy what else I brought my goggles uh, that seems really unessential but I love swimming and anytime there's a pool I've used them so super handy. Okay footwear so I had my trusty Merrill hiking boots which I absolutely love so I wore them all day every day and in the evenings I have these Katmandu trekking sandals 
As far as trekking sandals go, they're not that hideous. <laughs> um, and they're like super strong, vibrant soles, but lightweight as well. So it's always good to have a backup. And especially after a long day walking, you don't want to be putting your hiking boots back on. So super handy. I brought my Kindle, um, which I thought I would do a lot more reading, but actually I haven't done that much, but it's been useful to have. And especially because I'm on my own sometimes in the evenings, it can be really quiet. So it's nice to uh, read a book. I also brought a knee bandage, which thankfully I didn't need, but I have in the past on long distance hikes had really sore knees, uh, but thankfully that was not needed. Uh, my Sea to Summit mug, I got the one that comes with a lid. Best decision ever because I've been able to put, say, like chickpeas in this. If I've had chickpeas for dinner, for example, and I want to um, have it for lunch the next day, if there's too many of them, I put it in here and then you can just seal it. It's really handy. And it's also been good for making cups of tea if there's <clears throat> a kettle in the room or having my cereal in it, whatever. So it's been amazing and it folds up. This is one of my absolute favorite things. And of course, no, it's broken. No, I just realized that my spork is broken. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I've had this spork for years. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder when that broke. Well, I'm a spork, super handy if it doesn't break on you sunglasses, masks for the airplane. And in my electrics bag, I have brought a spare GoPro battery, some spare SD cards, my little power bank, super handy, some cables. I also have my watch, it's charging now, uh, which I've been using to record my distances on. Uh, my phone, phone charger. I keep that in this little bag, super handy. Uh, and then like my liquids, which is just like, well, I've got my toothbrush in here, deodorant, my comb's in here for some reason, sun cream, super handy. Um, and then in here, this is just my toiletries and things. And like, I've got an eye mask, earplugs, essential, thyroxin. Uh, and I always bring um, washing powder, super, super handy. Uh, for washing clothes, got some rehydration thingy my bobs. Got a first aid kit with blister plasters, of course. And I always, always, always bring this electrical tape. Uh, some herbal sleeping tablets, paracetamols, all that sort of jazz pen. And my little tiny, tiny purse. It's not really a purse. It some bit of jewellery came in this and I kept it. It's really handy. So I keep my money in there. Uh, and then this is my food bag. Okay, this was way bigger when I started, but yeah, I kind of down to the final dray, which has just got some sweets in it, some fuel powder, some chocolate, some tea, some dates. Oh, my breakfast for tomorrow. Um, all that sort of stuff. So some hot chocolate powder, porridge, yeah. Um, each day I get in and I usually go and buy a baguette or something, some avocado, whatever, and I make it up and I put it in there. Nothing fancy. Um, and then, this is a purchase that I really, really love, is the Car Caramore 30 liter dry sack. So pretty much everything that I just showed you goes in this bag and it goes in my backpack and I roll it over, clip it up and that keeps it nice and dry. And my actual bag itself is a Kathmandu one. I bought this in Australia and I absolutely love it. It's my first backpack that's had side pockets, which I could not go without now. I always keep one for my phone and then one I've got my headphones uh -oh, which are covered in sand, hand sanitizer, some snacks, blasters, 
I've got a waterproof poncho because I knew it wasn't going to be hardcore rain because if it was I would have brought my full waterproof but this did the job really. It only rained once. Um, oh and of course it's got a waterproof cover inside it uh, and also my passport's in there. Uh, I think that's it. Got my hiking pole as well. Just got this in decathlon. It's a lightweight. It's pretty cheap but does the job so that's about it nothing super super fancy um for me i think the most expensive item probably the bag uh yeah so i think that's it um i am really happy with everything i brought i don't think there's anything that i haven't used uh probably the long the long bottoms but like I said uh, I need them for the airplane um, so yeah uh, I think I did pretty well with packing so that's about it so I hope that was useful um, I can leave a google doc sheet uh, in the description of this video if that's any use but otherwise thank you for watching bye